I just wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for the research. And I guess without the funding, we can't have the research. Without that research, our doctors can't do what they have to do. Uh, the biopsy did prove that it was that kind of a cancer, which he informed me that spreads very rapidly, and I never knew about it at all. I was so devastated and shocked that I didn't hear a word he was saying. All you're thinking of is cancer. But with his help and his intelligence, he went on to advise me what was next to come, and I listened. Carmen had a very difficult case uh, when she started. Uh, of course, we know that she had an inflammatory breast cancer, but it was advanced and it's already outside the breast. And certainly was uh, quite challenging to not only select the type of treatment, but also the right dose and make sure that she will be receiving the treatment necessary to reduce the cancer without affecting the normal function. She did very well. Uh, right away, so we were very pleased and um, she tolerated all the treatment and the side effects really with no major problems, always with a smile. In the lab we are testing one drug, the name of the drug is CP37440, this is the name of the drug, and we are testing this drug using cells that were isolated from inflammatory breast cancer patients. So uh, this drug at low concentration that kill, we saw that we, uh, it killed two more cells, but they don't, this drug didn't affect uh, normal uh, breast cells. And this was very important. It's very important that uh, the, the funds that we received from Pennsylvania Breast Cancer Coalition or other foundation, because in these days it's, it's too difficult to have funds for research and the only way that we can keep going on research is uh, if we have funds to, to, to do it. When I uh, come to work every day I think of the patients. Uh, the patients are mothers, uh, daughters, sisters, uh, friends and this is uh, the training for that uh, keep me working on breast cancer. I am just so ecstatic that there are people out there like Dr. Sandra that is fabulous, takes their time and research and this is what they dedicate their life for and with that it saves my life.